What's up everyone, it's Scotty with Money Vesting. In this video, we are going to be talking about Tesla. The mighty Tesla here dropped down a little bit over 3.6%. So selling off, trading as low as $185. And my goal in this video is to kind of go over my updated plan because I did exit out of my covered calls on Tesla at a 65% profit. They were set to expire on April 28th. So I didn't really wait until then um, because of the premiums that were like really low. So I didn't really care much, but we'll be going over exactly what my plan is moving forward and, uh, you know, how I'm actually going about trading or investing in this company. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Find it helpful. If you do, make sure that you drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel uh, and the link to our Discord and Patreon is going to be down below if you're interested in joining us. A lot of our trade ideas today ended up outperforming uh, really, really well. Vertex, Johnson & Johnson, Eli Lilly, TMF, they were all pushing higher despite the markets selling off. So you can access all of that link down below. And don't forget that we also do have a 60% sale right now going on for our courses. So the Fundamental and Technical Analysis courses, the bundle is currently 60% off our biggest sale of the year for Easter. Link is going to be down below for that as well. Coupon code is going to be Easter. So this is the uh, covered call that I ended up selling, 65% uh, profit. And we have literally been repeating, rinsing and repeating this entire process on Tesla's uh, covered calls and cash secure puts. But if you take a look at, you know, what happened with EVs, uh, more broadly speaking, it was not just Tesla, right? It was almost all electric vehicle manufacturers, all other OEMs, um, and in including some of the more traditional uh, manufacturers. So you'll notice that Toyota was down, Xpeng was down, Volkswagen was down, General Motors, Ford, Lucid, Neo, Li Auto, Tesla's right over there, down 3.67%. Then we got Nikola, Ride, uh, Rivian, Hill, Hylion, Blink, Chargepoint, you know, Polestar down over 7%, Workhorse down over 9%. So it wasn't necessarily just contained within Tesla, but the entire electric vehicle market was very much under pressure. And I think a lot of it has to do with not only the fact that these stocks have moved up, I mean, more specifically, Tesla has gone up too much too fast, but we also did get some comments from one of the Fed members, uh, Loretta Mester, once again, talking about how the rates need to move a little bit higher. This actually came out today because she was supposed to talk. She's the Cleveland president, Federal Reserve Bank of Cleveland. And uh, she mentioned that the interest rates would need to be raised a little bit higher and then hold them there for some time to bring inflation back towards their goal. And she says, and I quote, we certainly are focused on inflation and making sure that inflation gets back down to 2% over time. Um, and of course, as a result, interest rates would need to go a little bit higher. Now, there is a discrepancy, right? So I have talked about that conflict between the market's expectation of interest rates versus what the Federal Reserve has been telling us. And uh, market's expectation in terms of the Fed Fund's futures and the bond market are completely different with, with, with what the Federal Reserve is telling us and putting it down on their summary of economic projections. So that discrepancy will eventually need to be resolved, right? We can't just keep going on with that conflict where the market's expecting one thing, the Fed is doing another. We can't keep going with that assumption because eventually our paths will cross, right? The roads will cross and there will be a resolution day where the, either the markets get a wake up call and we're not getting significant amount of rate cuts as what the market's pricing in or Powell uh, and, and the Fed start to actually play by the rules from the market and start cutting rates, start doing QE. And as a result, the markets have a lot of potential to move back higher. So that is a bit of a question mark that is still uncertain at the moment. Now, Tesla has its own problems, of course. Well, not really problems, but in terms of its own concerns with respect to deliveries and demands and production and margins. Those are things that I've already broken down in a separate video. So they did announce their delivery numbers on Sunday, which were a little bit over 422,000. Very strong number, record quarterly deliveries. And of course, growth of about 36% uh, on a year over year basis. But the real question remains that how is that going to translate over to margins and earnings when Tesla reports earnings on April 19th? Now, I know that April 19th is the earnings. What I'm really looking for and what I mentioned in our Discord earlier today was that I will be looking at selling cash secured puts on Tesla if and when it gets down to $175. The reason for $175 is because that is a very, very important area of support. That's number one. Number two, my fair value on Tesla is closer to 130. So if you guys go back and check out my previous videos, I have an intrinsic value in Tesla at close to 125 to as low as 130. So those are some levels that I'm really watching and that's gonna be putting us roughly around here. If I were to mark that area out right around here, this level, we also do have a gap to fill for Tesla around here. So this is a gap from between 146 to 154. 
whether we get down there or not. It's more of a technical question, but 175, the reason why I'm waiting for that level to get down for Tesla is because number one, again, it's, it's a huge support. We've been validated at the level very nicely and the premiums on the options chain are going to be much higher for Tesla if and when it gets down to 175 because like I said, I would be looking at strike prices closer to 130. So if I go out, let's say 30 days out from May 5th, right now, if you come over to the put put options chain for 130 you'll notice that you're only getting 69 cents quite fitting right 69 cents is all you're getting right now for 135 you're getting about a buck so a dollar divided by 134 that is going to be a yield of a less than one percent point seven four percent for the next 30 days out so it's not lucrative enough for me to be selling these puts at my at my strike price, which, you know, for me, strike price is the fair value where I would be interested in buying Tesla shares, but it's not worth it at the moment. The deal is not juicy enough. If it comes down to 175, that's when I can start to look at some options premiums where they will go up because the stock price is coming down. So put options start to gain a lot of value because there's more interest, there's more demand for put options because investors are expecting for the price to come down even more. So we'll be looking at around 130 to 125 strike prices for when Tesla is trading at those levels. If it doesn't, I'm completely fine with it. I will recircle and rinse and repeat my covered calls. We'll go ahead and sell covered calls all the way to 250, 265, 275, and we'll continue that process until I'm able to successfully sell a cash grip put at a lower strike price, strike price where I'm comfortable buying a Tesla for the long term. So that's really what the plan is going to be. Uh, again, kind of holding on to a lot of shares here, and we'll be looking at 170 to 175 as a support. We've got a resistance right over here for Tesla. So this is the red rectangle within which it's been uh, trading at. And you can already see that we're seeing a lot of sideways consolidation. In other words, Tesla is pretty much trading at the same level as it was back in November of last year. And since then, we have obviously sold off quite aggressively, dropped about 50% and then rallied a little bit over 100% and we're just trading sideways. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and a quick update on Tesla. The bottom line is that this was more of, you know, the entire EV sector selling off quite aggressively. We did get some comments from the Federal Reserve member, Loretta Mester. And uh, tomorrow we've got the jobless claims. We've got the Fed's balance sheet. And of course, later this week, we've got unemployment. And next week, we've got inflation. And the following week, we've got Tesla's earnings. So lots of interesting stuff coming out. Lots of consolidation happening for Tesla and for the markets as well as we trade sideways. Uh, but from a resistance and a support level standpoint, 220s to 228 is going to be that resistance. Support level is going to stay put roughly at around 175 with my fair, va fair value setting at 130 and would be a lot more interesting if and when it comes down to that level so I can start to uh, sell some cash code puts at those prices. So again, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Find it helpful. If you did, make sure that you drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're just joining us again for the first time. The link to our Discord and Patreon is going to be down below. Don't forget, we do have the uh, the, the sale going on, the 60% off offer for Easter, coupon code Easter, and that's going to be the first link down in the description below. As always, happy investing. I'll see you all in the next video.